What is up, everybody? It's Matt Croissant, Car Guy Croissant, your internet manager and dedicated content creator over here at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri, getting you some information on the 2022 Kia Telluride in everlasting silver with a butterscotch interior. This is an SX Nightfall Edition model. A very interesting color combination that we have here. And a big shout out to Earl and Diane from Orange Park, Florida. They are actually inside the store right now, all signed up, ready to go. They just flew in today. And uh, I'm getting this video recorded for them real quick before they head out um, as a personal request. So let's go ahead and dig in. Up front on the Telluride, we've got the amber LED day daytime running lights with your full projector beam headlighting. We've got LED fog lights on here, front parking sensors, a front camera for your surround view monitor system, the nice big new Kia brand emblem badge on there, Telluride lettering all in black since it's a nightfall, special nightfall grill as well. This nightfall model is going to come with your 20 inch bezeled wheels here the everlasting silver really popping showing some nice contrast on the vehicle we've got keyless entry up front cameras on the side mirror turn indicators blind spot monitors black rails dual sunroof up above fuel doors on the left we've got some privacy glass on the rear mirror uh, rear windows here we've got full led tail lights as well as uh, the smart power lift gate which i'm going to do a demo of this vehicle also comes equipped with your tow package. So you've got your two inch receiver, seven pin connection, and some self-leveling rear suspension on here. Backup camera included. Got the nice black Telluride badging, all wheel drive on here. Uh, the SX badging and most of the other badging has been removed to make this big old emblem stand out. We've got a rear wiper with sprayer. Nice little chrome tailpipes on here. Woo! A sharp looking ride and I was waiting to get this filmed up because it's been rainy out here for a little bit but what a gorgeous looking vehicle we're about to dig in here folks just gonna go ahead and wrap around real quick take it all in for just a second let's go ahead and hop inside again got some blind spot monitors on here open it up we can see that butterscotch immediately. Nice wood grain trim here with some brushed aluminum or brushed chrome. Nice, that, I mean, that looks just like butterscotch. I love this color. This is such a unique color combination. We've got memory seating on here. Power locks, windows and mirrors. All four windows are fully automatic. We've got our Harmon Cardon in here as well. Driver seat's gonna be adjustable. This is going to be 12 way adjustable. That is one. Got the leg roller, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve with your lumbar support right there. Dash illumination controls, blind spot monitor, lane keep assistance, and traction control, along with your power lift gate features, are all right here for you. This also has your illuminated sill plates right here, as you can see. Very nice. All weather floor mats also included with this model. All right, now that we're in here, filming in some crispy HD with the new microphone. Hopefully everybody's enjoying that. So, steering wheel, leather wrapped, heated, bam. Left-hand side of the steering wheel is gonna have all of your entertainment features like voice recognition, your audio sources, volume control, tracks and presets, and answering and ending phone calls. This button on the left, nice and treaded so you know that one is pressable and you don't have to actually look at it you can just feel for it right hand side it's going to be all of your driving and information tools and we're going to close the sunroof real quick there we go all your driving and information tools will be over here on the right hand side we've got this page button with this pressable lever again treaded right here controlling this nice large colorized display the display will show your drive modes, your fuel range, information here that we're gonna cycle through, ambient temperature, your safety features that are currently active, as well as your drive line and your odometer. So this first screen right here that we're on is gonna be your information screen. I'm just pressing this page button to change these columns of information, and then we use the lever to change through the rows. We've got fuel economy, which will show you your active fuel economy, 
your accumulation, your total lifetime information, uh, drive information for each trip, the digital speedometer that we started off with, as well as your different drive modes. So touching on the drive modes right here, it's currently in Eco, but we also have Smart, Sport, Comfort, and a Snow Mode. Smart Mode is going to change through the ladder for you automatically. So you can put it on Smart right here, and we can see we've got a nice little uh, gauge right here, which based on your pedal usage will change how the vehicle drives, steers, and feels overall. We're gonna put that back in Eco though, because that's how I found it and uh, Earl and Diane are about to take off after I'm done with this video so we're flying right now. Next page is going to be your navigation information. Um, this will show you your current cardinal direction or turn by turn information if you are using the onboard navigation system. From here we've also got our safety and convenience screen. Your lane keep assistance screen will show you when the lines on the road are registered. If we have the cruise on it's going to back that up and show you when the vehicle in front of you is also registered. Okay. And since we're here on this cruise screen, let's talk about it. This vehicle has smart cruise, so we can set our speed and then choose four different following distances. This is also going to activate lane follow assistance for you, keeping you automatically centered in the lane, along with navigation-based cruise control, highway drive assist. This car is basically gonna drive itself almost. Keep your hands on the wheel though, or else it's gonna yell at you. Your driver attention system will be paying attention to how your driving habits are. Um, if you're veering a little too much, following too closely, driving erratically, it's going to recommend that you maybe take a break and it's going to keep beeping at you a few times to really get your attention. I was actually just driving back from Colorado in my Stinger and I was getting a little bit of that road hypnosis going through Kansas and uh, it kept me safe and said, hey, it's time to take a break. And you know what? And I said, hey, you're right. So uh, from here, you've got your all wheel drive screen. We'll also show you the steering angle of the front wheels here. As you can see, those are tilted to the right now. This will show you where power is being distributed to. And this also has to do with your all-wheel drive lock. You can press this, it illuminates. You've also got some notifications and icons on screen here. This will give you 50-50 front and rear power distribution. We've also got onboard tire pressure information as we get the wheels and tires rolling. And last but not least, we've got our settings that we're gonna roll through real quick. Let's see if David did some things in here. Nope, and that's okay. We're gonna get the smart lift gate on here. Lights, we're gonna change the one touch turn signal to seven flashes. Why? Because this vehicle has blind view monitoring. So you notice I nudged that and it stays on for seven flashes now engaging the camera for that amount of time too. I'm lazy, but it's convenient and I love it. So we're gonna leave it like that and Earl and Diane can change it back later if they want to. Let's turn the welcome sound on for when we get in and out of the vehicle. Each Kia vehicle has its own uh, jingle. I love it. Conveniences, we don't have to worry about too much. Service intervals, that's already active. Uh, it's an 8,000 mile oil change interval, by the way, guys. So either that or once a year. Okay, all right. That completes it for the settings here um, and your drive display. Now, let's go ahead and talk about, uh, we actually covered all that, we're good. Moving over here, your left hand wand is going to control your headlights and your fog lights. They're automatic, so you just leave it there. Fog light control is right here. This vehicle is also equipped with automatic high beams. So you just saw this icon pop on. That is going to turn the high beams on and off at nighttime for you automatically. Uh, I would go ahead and turn this off when you're in the neighborhood, though, because perpendicular traffic will still be blinded. This is really only for oncoming traffic and highway traffic. Okay, right hand wand is going to control your front and rear wipers with their respective sprayers. Okay, um, this is just a standard SX model, so this does not have the automatic rain sensing wipers on here, but that's okay, no problem. So uh, that's it for the steering area. The steering wheel can manually tilt and telescope by simply unlocking it right there. It's pretty rigid, so if you need to do this with one hand, it might be a little tough, but that's so it stays in place for you without losing your setting if you're tilting or telescoping. All right, looking up for just a second, we've got our first sunroof with the manual sunshade. We've got controls for it right here. We can tilt and slide. We also have an automatic sunshade for the rear fixed piece of glass. That's gonna stay closed. I like to call that a sunroof. This is more of like a moon roof. So you can open it up and look at the stars, so on and so forth, okay? Up here, we've got lighting controls for all of your dome lighting. The door light for when we turn that on and we crack the door open, it's gonna open that. 
uh, illuminate and then softly turn those off for you. It's all LED lighting. We've got our UVO link or now Kia access controls right here. You get this for a whole year with the vehicle. Um, you can remote start, set the temperature, um, make sure the doors are locked, see the location, all kinds of great features that you get for a whole year for free. Nice little sunglass holder. This is felt fine inside to prevent any scratching. We've got an auto dimming rear view mirror here with Homelink garage controls. Very easy to set up. And then down below here is going to be your entertainment center. So this is your home screen showing you a combination of information. Um, this is new like that. Uh, they've moved the weather to up here as well as location. We've got a nice little glimpse of the map. Time, uh, radio information will be right here and of course our date. Swiping on over, it's going to bring us into the entertainment system. Earl and Diane have the ability to set up their own user profiles on here, and we're going to have them do that before they leave. And from here, you can access the map, nav, phone, phone projections, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. You can record voice memos, put the vehicle in a valet mode with your Kia access services, uh, so you know that your vehicle isn't being joyridden if you uh, lend it to somebody. Passenger talk is going to turn the interior speaker system into a PA system so everybody can hear you, even if they're in the third row. You can hit end here, or if you're the driver, go ahead and just hit end right there. So hopefully the microphone picked that up nicely for you guys. You can also put the vehicle in a quiet mode as well to reduce the sound and reroute it to the front speakers. You can also access rear climate from here on screen. HD radio data has mostly to do with traffic, weather, and travel information. Nothing to do with high definition radio. That's their own disclaimer. We've got the radio and let's hop into the settings real quick. We're going to turn the headlights all the way on for what I'm about to do. We're going to go into our vehicle lights, ambient light, brightness, jack it up, color. So we've got some preset colors that have their own descriptions on what it may help or encourage you, uh, you know, or assist you with, depending on your mood. And you can see uh, underneath right here, that golden insight right there, as well as along the uh, doors. All four doors have this. Let's go ahead and choose the custom color real quick. You can see that's a nice blue now. You can set that custom color to any color that you want. Maybe Diane likes this nice uh, fuchsia right here, okay? Look at that, mm-hmm, yeah. So we'll go ahead and just leave it there. Hope you guys enjoy that once you find it. Going back into the settings, we're gonna go into the sound and engage the Harman Kardon system fully. You got the bass boost right here. Tone, looking good. Just leave that alone. It's a great sound system on its own, so we'll leave that as is. Okay, That's going to be it for the settings in there. There's definitely a ton of other things that you can go in there and play with, but that's all we need for now. Okay, Down below, we've got some nice uh, openable and closable vents. Let's go ahead and get these open for some good airflow. Put the vehicle on auto as well, just to get some nice airflow and air conditioning going in here. We've got some centrally located analog controls for most of what I've spoken about. Climate control area, we've got our heated wheel, dual climate up here, tri-climate with the rear, uh, heated and cooled seating. Um, it's a single switch, you just go in the direction that you want. Down here is our power center. We've got two USB ports, one for charging, one for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that'll also charge, 12 volt outlet, and a wireless charging pad here for you. And you can just press down all the way right there to close that. It is piano black, so I did just smudge it automatically. Try and press on this bar as much as you can. And then here, we've got our shifter. Put this in reverse. It's gonna show off our rear view monitor as well as our surround view monitor. If we want the mirrors to tilt, we can just switch the selector to the left or right, and that'll tilt down, so you've got a nice angle right there of the rear tire, as you can see. We've got projected pathing on here, showing you exactly where you're going to be steering to, where the corners are going to go. The blue box is representing where your Telluride is at in real time, with the side lines representing the true sides of the vehicle. This is uh, relatively accurate. And since we've got some open parking spots, we can go ahead and switch to the front camera right here. I'm just going to show you in real time how this works here. This spot behind me looks good. Go ahead and reverse. And all we have to do, as you can see, if I want this spot, and I've got it maxed out too, just for a great example. We're just going to angle back here, and you can see, as long as I keep my box within those lines, 
I am perfectly steering back into this spot. A little crooked there, but that's okay. We can go back, travel all the way into the spot, and straighten out. And we've got a perfect park every single time. We can just back it up until that red light, red line right there touches the curb, and we know we're close enough and we're in the spot. Um, maybe not my best parking job, but hey, I'm looking at the camera, through the camera, and so on and so forth. But um, very nice feature. Let's go ahead and put this back in the road. You can see this switches automatically back and forth, back and forth. It's nice. It'll stay on at low speeds for you too. So um, while I want to leave this on, I'm going to go ahead and turn on auto hold right here. You can see some green text popping up right there. I can now take my foot off the brake. As long as that text is green, the Telluride is going to hold itself in place. So now I can show you the rest of the camera system. We've got a global overhead view. We can also check our front wheels. If we want to put the vehicle in reverse as well, you can see that disengages the auto hold. But again, rear overhead view with the center line for the tow package there, checking the rear wheels as well. So we've got tons of different view angles right here. It's really nice. Putting that back in park. We've got some nice cup holders, extra storage. Here's a peek at the key for you. Nice buttons on the side, remote start included. We've talked about our driving system here. You have start-stop technology, which most of you need to learn to love since fuel prices are just through the roof right now. As so long as cabin temperature and engine temperature can be maintained, the Telluride will turn the engine off at a full stop to uh, keep this 3.8 liter V6 from just sucking up fuel for you. Auto hold, this is your camera system. You can turn this on or off. Your front and rear parking sensors and your electric parking brake are right here. Say if I have the vehicle in drive right now, and uh, I open the door, electric parking brake, automatically engaged, super safe vehicle. I don't think I've ever showed that off before, but um, it may save your life or your vehicle. Inside the center console, we've got extra sunglass storage and another USB port. We've got a lockable glove box right here with the window sticker and owner manuals inside. The towing package also comes with its own wiring harness for a trailer brake for you to be able to install as well. So this is fully set up for towing. That's going to be it for the front area here, but let's not forget about these handy dandy visors. These are mirrored. They're clipped, nice soft white LED lighting, and they telescope. Shazam. All right, so that's it. We're going to go ahead and turn the vehicle off. There's our welcome sound saying goodbye. Thanks for driving me. You can make up your own little song and lyrics to it. I do with my stinger. All right, so checking out back seats right here. We've got captain's chairs, first glance, nice little sun shades. This uh, also helps with wind diffusion. If you got any animals inside too, kind of prevents the puppy noses from touching things. Nice large handles. You'll never have to touch your paint. Swing that. You've got it on the front doors too. That's a little tip right there for some, some paint and body maintenance and care. Window controls, nice little bottle holder. Captain's chairs right here, they have your latch system for child seating. Armrests that are fully adjustable. So you can see this is the fully maxed out position, but if this were angled up a little bit more, you can ratchet that into the exact place that you need. Dual cargo, bag holders, cup holders, USB ports, 12 volt outlet. Oh yeah, baby. Nice little look at the rear sun, uh, sunroof right there. We've got LED lighting back here. Ventilation is up above and down below on all three rows, by the way. So uh, we've got great ventilation, great lighting, rear, excuse me, rear climate control too. For a quick and easy access to the rear, you can just press this little button right here. It's up above or down below depending on your height and your size and your age. Back here, we've got cup holders, more USB ports, some extra storage, more speakers, rear subwoofer, and seating for three back here with this nice cargo tray that we also provide. So um, I can show you guys how this works real quick and then uh, we're gonna be good to go. All right, we're gonna lock this up real quick, trick the vehicle, we're gonna do a quick smart liftgate demo. Automatic power folding mirrors, by the way. So we're just gonna go ahead and walk away for a second and trick the vehicle's proximity. Just keep checking it out. What a beautiful looking ride. Mm. 
can see we've got some wheel locks installed on there. The one brightened wheel lock there, or chrome I should say, instead of the dark chrome. All right, so I got nothing in my hands. Obviously, I'm holding the camera with the other one. I'm just going to walk up to the smart lift gate here and stand next to it. Tail lights flash, car beeps four times. It's going to open automatically. I use this on my Stinger on a daily basis um, for when I'm coming and going from the gym. The less I have to touch the car, the better. So this vehicle all is also equipped with the rear bumper protector. It is a physical piece of plastic right here. Um, so if this gets damaged or marred, you can always remove it and put another one on. This protects the full bumper back here. You can see we've got some more nice protection right here for moving cargo in and out. If you need to fold down the rear seats, you just press these two buttons. Bam, look at that. Cargo space, baby. All right, so I'm gonna very carefully take this cargo mat out gently lay it on the ground and you can see back here with the third row down we've got tons of space tons and tons of space pull this up let go you can do this all one-handed if you really have to like i do right now seats go up seating for three you can latch someone in back here too as you can see you've got some anchor points choke up on this oh choke a little more <laughs> and it folds right down for you okay and then if you need some extra space back here with that third row up this board slides out right here extra towing accessories and storage roadside tools are gonna be on the left hand side right here okay and I'm going a little bit over my time but um, we're basically almost done here these velcro back into place for easy access for next time extra grocery bag holder right there I'm gonna go ahead and pick this back up Come on, come on. Oh, this is this one's nice and warm. It's nice and warm today. This is nice and flexible. This is your rear cargo tray. Velcro's into place right there. Nice. Power lift gate. Boom. And last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Hit the unlock button right here. And we've got a power passenger seat and some extra storage. How about that? All right. That is going to wrap it up for the 2022 Kia Telluride SX Nightfall and Everlasting Silver with Butterscotch, folks. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Give a big shout out again to Earl and Diane. I know they're ready to go. And uh, please leave any comments if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information that you've seen today. Also, if you can subscribe and hit that notification bell, I greatly appreciate that. So that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles I'm uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. If this video has helped you make a big buying decision or purchase and you'd like to thank me for my time as I am no longer a salesman, but a sales manager, I would greatly appreciate it. Feel free to leave me a super thanks or uh, utilize the tip jar through my PayPal that you can find on the about section of this channel and the cover art of the page or however you give a super thanks these days so also this uh, information is going to be on the kia of columbia webpage, friends and family if you can head over to the kia of columbia youtube channel and subscribe over there i'm trying to grow that channel eventually it will have its own independent content but for now we're just double dipping baby so thank you so much this is matt croissant over at kia of columbia your internet manager and dedicated content creator. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.